Good afternoon. I'm Stephen Toop, and I serve as President and Vice Chancellor of the University of British Columbia. Every year at Congregation, UBC has the honor of bestowing honorary degrees upon individuals who, in the opinion of the university community, have fit the criteria of excellence and eminence in their chosen field. Maria Clave is one of those individuals, and I invite her now to step forward to receive her honorary degree. Madam Chancellor, few individuals have done more to encourage and advance women in science and engineering than Dr. Maria Clave, and we are honored to call her one of our own. As head of the Department of Computer Science, Vice President, Students, and Dean of Science at UBC, Dr. Clave pioneered strategies to support women and underrepresented groups in science and engineering. She then went on to serve as Dean of Engineering at Princeton University, where she developed the Engineering for a Better World strategic plan. Since 2007, Dr. Clave has been president of Harvey Mudd College, a top undergraduate engineering school in the United States, where she is fostering curricular changes that emphasize experiential learning and the societal value of engineering. She writes a personal note to every woman who is accepted into the college. Due in large part to her efforts, the percentage of incoming women has increased to 40%. Her far-reaching influence is reflected in the formation of the Image of Computing Initiative, a national effort to convey a positive image of computing co-led by Microsoft and other major industry players. Her own research on factors that engage girls in computer games has also been influential within the gaming sector. She's been elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and served as the first female vice chair of the Computing Research Association and as chair of the Board of Trustees of the Anita Borg Institute for Women in Technology. Madam Chancellor, for her visionary leadership and unwavering support of students and colleagues, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa upon Maria Margaret Clave. By authority of the Senate of this university, I confer upon you, Maria Margaret Clave, the title and degree, Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. It now gives me great pleasure to ask Dr. Clave to say a few words. Wow. So let me start by congratulating all of today's graduates. But also just, I want to thank the Senate and this entire university for this honor. There's no university in the world from which I would rather receive an honorary degree than the University of British Columbia. 
My first visit to UBC and Vancouver was with Edmonton's Cosmopolitan Concert Band in 1964. I was 13 years old, okay, do the math, <laughs> and instantly fell in love with the university and the city. I decided that when I was old enough to control my life, I'd come to UBC and live in Vancouver. Despite exploring opportunities to come to UBC as an undergraduate student, then a graduate student, then assistant professor, somehow it didn't happen until 24 years later when my husband Nick Pippinger and I joined the Department of Computer Science. Our children, Yannick and Sasha, were six and three years old, and we were thrilled to be coming to UBC and Vancouver for many reasons. UBC and the province had committed to work with the Computer Science Department to make it one of the top in North America. Our children would grow up as Canadians, and we would get to spend much more time with our family and friends in Western Canada. But perhaps the biggest reason was that we believed that developing a world-class computer science department at UBC was critically important for the province and for the country. Even back in 1988, about the time that many of you who are receiving your bachelor's degrees today were born, it was clear that strengthening education and research and information technology would have a huge impact on the region's economic future. As the flagship university in the province, UBC needed to play a leadership role. I won't take the time to describe the details of the computer science department's thrilling, sometimes roller coaster like adventures and achievements from 1988 to now, but I do want to tell you that it, it has become truly great, a department that everyone involved with can be incredibly proud of. Hundreds of people, faculty, staff, administrators, and students worked intensely hard to make this happen. Now, I don't want you to think that I think that computer science is the only great department at this university. There are many amazing departments here. And I have to say that based on my experience as a former dean of science here, that's especially true for fa the faculty of science, but I'm slightly biased and I think it's true for forestry as well. And I think it's true for many other faculties here. You know, when I was an undergraduate and graduate student at the University of Alberta, I didn't have a clue about the quality of my education, especially how it compared to the quote unquote elite universities of the world. And you know, my guess is that for many of you who are graduating today, that's true for you too. But now having spent some time at some of those elite institutions, I can assure you that the quality of the faculty and of the students at this university rival that of the top universities around the world. And perhaps even more importantly, UBC is at the forefront of the world's universities in terms of developing innovative programs and courses that, that prepare students to meet the challenges that involve our world today. Most of the key challenges require knowledge and skills not just in science, but also in other areas. They need people who can work in interdisciplinary teams, communicate effectively, and understand the broader context. And unlike most universities, UBC actually encourages this kind of learning. For example, it encourages students who have, are interested in computer science to combine that interest with another discipline. Co-op programs, a huge success at UBC and at other Canadian universities, are available at only a tiny number of US universities. Interdisciplinary programs like Science One, Cognitive Systems, or the Integrated Sciences Program, they're now being started at some of the leading United States universities more than a decade after they were launched here. I could go on and on. The point is that UBC is an extraordinary leader, and you graduates are really fortunate to have received your education here. Now, there's always a part in your commencement speech where you're supposed to give advice to the graduates. So the final part of my talk is I'm gonna focus on four pieces of advice. Now, um, I usually try to uh, pick something that somebody else won't be giving you advice about today, 
but um, a little bit of what I'm going to say has been stolen by our Chancellor. 